single bill that involves money. Many legislators, when they return home to their districts, tout themselves as being education supporters. No one likes to be seen as being against education. However, clearly these voting records prove that some legislators were not willing to stick up for children, school children, and some were. We think it's important for voters to see who supports education funding and who voted against public education funding 100% of the time in the last legislative session. When parents start to get mad at their principals or their superintendents or their school board members because of what's happening at their children's schools, we want them to remember who really is to blame for the predicament we face. And we want them to remember that when they go to vote in the August primaries and the November general elections. We also want to remind Arizonans that it's not just our state school children who are affected by these votes. These aren't just votes against children, they are votes against every single Arizonan. Our children this year have experienced the effects of those cuts in the way of much larger class sizes, the loss of teachers at their schools, the elimination of librarians, counselors, arts and music teachers, the lack of funding for basics such as books, computers, paper, and even toilet paper. What's on the horizon in the coming school year is even more bleak. All of those cuts continued, plus the loss of all-day kindergarten and funding for gifted programs guaranteed. And if Proposition 100 doesn't pass on May 18th, our schools won't be just on a starvation diet, they will start losing limbs.